right, this plant here is Godicola centella asiatica, uh, but it's also known sometimes as hydrocotyl asiatica, an old name. And this is an important rejuvenative for the brain in Ayurvedic medicine. It's a very important herb for improving memory. It's one of the 25 best-selling herbs in the country, and the most, the best-selling herb formula in Europe is a combination of goat cola and ginkgo leaf for presenting, preventing Alzheimer's, that kind of thing. Uh, it's also been known as Brahmi, but this is evidently not the true Brahmi. There's two different herbs that have been called Brahmi in Ayurvedic medicine, and they're both used for the brain. Uh, my source for this is this book here, called Rasayana, Ayurvedic Herbs for Longevity and Rejuvenation. So there's a whole class of Ayurvedic herbs that are used for rejuvenating the body. And it describes both of these herbs. Uh, according to this book, Centella Asiatica, go to cola, is actually Manduk Parni in Ayurvedic terms. The true Brahmi is this one here, Bacopa Monierii. Uh, but both of these are used for the brain, and they're used by people who meditate for mental clarity and focus and so on. Centella Asiatica is also a very good wound healing herb. They have a number of other uses. So both of these are quite easy to grow. Neither one of them is quite hardy around here. Go to cola is hardy to about zone seven. So it survives well in this greenhouse, even though it sometimes freezes in here. And it grows very fast. You can see it spreads over the ground by runners, just like a strawberry. So all this is connected up. You can set out one little plant of goat cola in the spring, and by the autumn you can harvest you know, six square feet of it from that same plant. It's actually in the umbilifer family. It doesn't look anything like an umbilifer. Here's the little flowers and seeds, and you could theoretically grow it from these seeds. Lots of flowers on here. So this runs very fast, invades. Uh, whatever's nearby, comes out of this barrel down to the ground and starts growing down there. You can easily grow it in your house uh, in a pot. It likes a lot of moisture, but it doesn't want to be totally waterlogged. So what you could do is grow it in a pot and set that pot in a dish of water. And what it'll do is come out of the pot, drip, drape down into the water and start making roots. Where you can start in. The reason why you might want to do that is, uh, according to both Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine, eating just a couple of leaves a day is uh, very good for longevity and mental clarity. So there are several accounts of people who lived to be 250 years old and married 24 times. And they attribute it all to eating two or three leaves a day of this herb, centella. Or maybe it was this one. Brahmi. We don't really know. Uh, but they both have the effect.